wondered if moving to Welland, Ontario is worth it? These pros and cons will help you solidify your decision once and for all. Hi, my name is Vanessa Wilson and I believe that real estate doesn't always have to be in black and white. A lot of people have been asking me, is Welland, Ontario a good place to live? And my answer is, it depends. That's why I'm about to list the pros and cons of living in Welland in 2024. So also there's a bonus tip at the end, so don't miss out on that. Without any further ado, let's get started. Starting with number seven, Welland has affordable housing. Welland, Ontario real estate update is that as of today, homes in Welland sell for an average of $592,000, so under $600,000 and are usually gone in 36 days on market. Welland has more affordable housing choices than other cities in Ontario. This low cost, along with the different types of homes available and proactive government programs makes it appealing to all sorts of buyers. The Affordable Rental Housing, CIP, was approved by the Welland City Council in 2023. This led to the formation of a new housing companies. Welland got 1.72 million from the Building Faster Fund because it met its provincial housing goal for 2024 by 176%. Welland will continue to have a variety of affordable living options thanks to these efforts. Moving on to number six, Welland has limited job opportunities. So if you plan on moving to Welland, Ontario, the job market isn't very diverse. And you should know that in June, 2024, over 2000 jobs were opened in Welland at places like Gallo Ice Cream, Retail Stores, Asashi Cassie Battery Separator Canada, and Clifton Hill Fun by the Falls. But there aren't as many very job chances as Welland as there are in bigger cities. And this could make it harder for people in some professions to find work close to home. A lot of people who live there go to work in nearby towns and cities like St. Catharines and Niagara Falls. While there are jobs in retail and healthcare in Welland, Ontario, there aren't many work opportunities overall. If you want to move to Welland, Ontario, think about the work market in your field. Coming in at number five, Welland is quite family friendly. Moving to Welland, Ontario is a good idea because the city is known for being family friendly, thanks to its many schools, beautiful parks, and fun things to do, like the Welland Canal, which we're famous for. The city has a lot of neighborhood events, like Family Day, which is fun for kids, the Best Western plus Rose City Suites, and the Travel Lodge by Wyndham Welland are both family-friendly hotels that are good places to stay. Welland is also known for being a safe and friendly place to live, which makes it a good choice for families. Even with these benefits, you should still visit Welland, Ontario and see for yourself before choosing to move there. Moving on to number four, there are limited public transportation options. Welland Transit is a main public transportation company, but it doesn't cover as much ground as some bigger cities like St. Catharines. This can make things harder for people who are moving to Welland, Ontario and don't have a car to move around in. They may have to take longer to get there or use more than one way of transportation. It is also hard to get to nearby cities for work or school because there aren't many ways to get between the towns and cities. There are other ways to get around, such as cabs, car rentals, and ride sharing services. So in the future, the public transportation system might get better by adding shared mobility choices. Coming in at number three, natural beauty is unparalleled in Welland. Moving to Welland, Ontario means access to Welland's rich natural beauty featuring the Welland Canal, Niagara River, and Welland Recreational Canal. Part of the St. Lawrence Seaway, the Welland Canal, goes around Niagara Falls to connect Lake Ontario to Lake Erie. The famous Niagara Falls is on the Niagara River, which runs from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. 
There are many things to do on the Welland Recreational Canal, which is run by the Welland Recreational Canal Corporation. These beautiful places not only have great views, but also have lots of fun things to do and history, showing off Welland's natural beauty. Moving on to number two, moving to Welland, Ontario, comes with a lack of entertainment options. Welland is a smaller city. It may not have as many entertainment choices as bigger cities, but it does have concerts and community events. For a livelier nightlife, nearby cities like St. Catharines and Niagara Falls are great options. A lot of events happen in St. Catharines. At night, there are lots of bars and clubs like Level Nightclub and the Moose and Goose. People love Niagara Falls because it has casinos, theaters, light shows, and bars like Dragonfly Nightclub and Club 7. Each city has its special charm that makes living in Welland and the nearby areas more appealing. Last but not least, at number one, Welland has a great location. Being in the middle of the Niagara Peninsula, Welland has a lot of benefits. It's easy to get to big towns like Toronto, which is about 90 minutes away on a good day. There are many parks, exercise areas, and community centers in the city. People also like living in Welland because it's cheap and has lots of beautiful natural areas. There's something special about each place, so it's good to get out and see what you like about Welland. Bonus tip as promised. The bonus tip is tranquility and fresh air. With the Welland Canal, the Niagara River, and lush parks all around, the city is surrounded by nature and offers peaceful landscapes and outdoor spaces to enjoy that's perfect for relaxing. And the city's smaller population and less urbanized setting contribute to lower pollution levels, making the air cleaner and fresher. Residents can enjoy leisurely walks, cycling, and other outdoor activities without the noise and chaos of bigger cities like St. Catharines. Welland's peace makes it a great place to live, a healthy and peaceful life. Once again, my name is Vanessa Wilson. I'm a realtor from Niagara Region, Ontario. If I can service you, my contact information is in the description box below. And if you like this video and would like to see more of my videos, click on the boxes on the screen. If you want to keep receiving real estate market updates, make sure to subscribe and follow me here and all my other socials. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And remember, real estate doesn't always have to be in black and white.